Hello everybody. A little while back I was contacted by the folks over at theleatherguy.org to see if I might be interested in trying out some of their leather for free on upcoming projects. They sent the leather, shown here, free of charge to check out and talk about with you guys. I had never heard of the Leather Guy before, so I spent some time perusing their website before responding. One thing I was immediately impressed with is that nearly every piece of leather listed on their website has its own individualized product listing. Each piece of leather has a description and product photos. They also list the exact square footage of the actual hide, along with dimensions, temper, and defects. And the defects are pointed out in the product photos. Very helpful when trying to buy leather online. I have a lot of appreciation for the amount of time it takes to create individualized product listings for nearly every single hide that they sell on their website. They also have staff on hand available to send additional photos or look for particular sides for anyone that wants to call or email for special requests. So after thinking it over for a few days, I responded back and asked if I could try some of their Artisan's Choice vegetable tanned leather. These are European hides that are similar in color to natural vegetable tanned leather from Wicked and Craig which is what I typically use for most of my projects. About a week later, I received a box of pre-cut pieces ranging in thickness from two to 10 ounce, along with a few other marketing items. The grain surface of the leather was clean and free of imperfections, and the flesh side was also very nice looking and almost suede-like. The leather samples I received were really great but I was still super impressed with the individual product listings for nearly every piece of leather they sell. So I decided to order a full side of seven to eight ounce Artisan's Choice Vegetable Tan Cowhide for my next batch of holster orders. I placed the order anonymously and paid for it with my own money. And let me tell you, I was equally impressed with the full side that I received and I'm looking forward to putting it to use on future projects. I had an order in the queue for one of my slim three pocket wallets, so I decided to put the sample piece of three to four ounce leather to use on this project. Since the previous video that I posted went into more detail about the pattern and build process, I won't bore you with those details in this video. I did have to mute the audio at one point, since I had my laser cutter and space heater running in the background, but otherwise I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the build process. I'd love to hear your comments about who your favorite leather supplier is, particularly for vegetable tanned leather. And thanks to the leather guy for reaching out to me and for sending this sample pack to me free of charge to talk about with you guys. I'm really looking forward to using more of their leather on future projects. Take care and thanks for watching.